Ooh, let's print and cut some stickers using Silhouette Portrait. First thing I do is open up my PNG files on the preview app that's available on my laptop. And after I do that, I pump up the volume of the contrast and the saturation. This helps for the colors to print out a little bit more vibrant. I notice when I don't do this, the images come out very dull and I'm not about that dull life. Anyway, I upload the images into the Silhouette Portrait and after I upload them, what I'll do now is I'll copy them all into one page. I print multiple designs on one page because you know, sticker paper it's not cheap not to resize it keep this in lock position because this will help to resize everything evenly i normally resize them down to either two and a half or three inches so i'm doing that to all three of them rearranging it on the page heading over to the toolbar and clicking the offset panel button this creates that obnoxious border around stickers that we love so much you're going to select all your designs and click the offset button now it's going to create the outline i normally keep it at 0.9 or 0.8 that's the size that's perfect for me the red outline that you see is going to be the cut lines that your machine will cut and if you notice when i zoom in there are some parts that i don't want it to cut out like right between the legs above the fight part so i'm going to double click that and press the delete button until it deletes all the lines i don't want do this until you're happy with how the outline looks and there i go you're gonna watch me do that a lot do 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 deleting the stuff okay i'm gonna do that to the rest of my stickers after that i'm going to select each one individually and i'm gonna put Control g that's group you're gonna group together your images with the outline this makes it super easy to be able to move your stickers around without having to worry about realigning it back to the outline we just made now we're going to get to the fun part rearranging them on the page so before we print out i'm going to go over to the send panel over here and i'm going to click page setup and i'm going to make sure that the registration marks are toggled to on so if you see here these are the registration marks this is what your machine will read before it decides to cut now you have to rearrange your sticker make sure that you're not close to the border that's why i said no 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 because if you're too close it starts to read it incorrectly and it will not cut your stickers right so you got to make sure that you leave a good amount of space away from the registration mark i know it's a waste of time and space but you know this is how these things work you know now i'm going to copy paste each and every design by clicking ctrl c and ctrl v and put as many as i can on the page and i will rearrange it and in a couple seconds you're gonna see i'm gonna do some magic in three two one bye magic you check to make sure everything's perfect and now we're gonna head over to the send tab and this is where we're gonna see the cut settings simple i don't recommend using that because it's gonna cut every single line and you have it's a pain to separate now we're gonna go over here on the fill part and then you're gonna click until you see that only one outline is showing the outline that we created using offset so that's where you're going to put the settings to do the cutting now to print Control p for print make sure everything is perfect and good everything looks great now i'm going to press print today i have a canon pixma and this is the option that i use i make sure that it prints from the rear tray because the paper is thick and then i go over and press matte paper and i put the quality all the way to best just make sure even if you don't have a canon just make sure that it prints at best and matte paper yay now it's getting to the fun part time to cut first thing i do is i put it on the mat and i'm going to laminate it i have this laminator that has a code setting because that's the setting that i need to use for this type of laminate it doesn't require heat so here i am slowly peeling it carefully nicely and the nice thing about this laminator is that it will laminate it nice and neat you won't have any dragging lines if you use a ruler i used to use a ruler before until i got this this is pretty cheap 30 bucks while you enjoy watching me laminate my stickers, I wanted to do some selfless promotion because, you know, that's what you have to do here on YouTube. Uh, if you like the video so far, just give it a like, give it a comment if you have any questions. And if you like what you're seeing, you know, hit the subscribe button. Click that ding dong bell in the bottom so that you get notified when I make a new video. And all the stuff that I use today will be linked in the description below. All affiliate links, it doesn't change the price. And back to the video oh so shiny now that we finished laminating it we're going to feed it into the machine now you see that i pointed out that third little line that's where you're going to put your cutting mat line it up press the up button and watch it nom 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 okay after that i'm going to go into the settings and click cardboard adhesive back that's the option i use and since my blade's a lot older i put the force at 33 the speed at six three two to three passes and the blade depth is four then you press send and now for the fun part 
Now this machine will make a lot of noise and it will sound like a screaming banshee and will make your ears bleed so prepare for that when you use a silhouette portrait. I really envy you people who have crickets. Yours are so aesthetic and they sound so soothing and nice. Mine just sounds like it's in a rock band, one of those heavy metal bands and it's just like loud. Anyway, here it is, cutting. Okay, here's a close-up of it cutting, going around and around. Wow, look at those cut lines, so perfect. Yes, I love it. Now it's for the even funner part, peeling. But my mistake was that I use a brand new mat and I forgot to unstickify it. You need to make it less sticky. If not, um, you're gonna struggle peeling away. So that was my error. Don't get scared about making stickers. And um, yeah, these are the ones that I made today. And they will be open for pre-order soon. I haven't chosen a date yet, but I'm thinking January 6th. For these cute little guys, if you like these stickers, I'll have my shop linked in the bottom. Wow, never thought narrating for six minutes would feel so long.